Good morning. Wait a minute, wait a minute. It's not morning. I just had lunch. Good afternoon. Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by. And of course, you got here just in time. That's right, just in time for another campground experiential video. I'm going to show you this stuff. And you saw in the title, I'm at Dana, Dana Peak Park. Dana Peak Park. Stillhouse Hollow Lake. And there's Stillhouse Hollow Lake. We are in the kind of in the northeastern edge of the Texas Hill Country. That's Union Grove Park on the other side. Three years ago, we camped there. And I really fell in love with Stillhouse Hollow Lake. It's, it, it's an impound on the Lampasas River. And that's part of the Brazos River watershed. But anyway, Union Grove Park. I'm in site number seven. Of course, you can already tell I've got this great big wood shade structure, a concrete picnic table, and a view that is just awesome. Now during the summer it might be a little warm because there's no shade. Let's get out here on the road so you can take a look. I was really, really, I've been really surprised since I pulled in. I saw a, a, a pretty sizable herd of deer back over there. And I think this big hump right here, I think that's Dana's Peak. I don't know. When we go start looking at the stuff, we'll find out. Site number seven is the end of this little loop. It is a 30 and 50 and water site. It's pretty dang level. Although there's a hill, asphalt pad, there's enough room that I can get the little white truck in. The, I, can, I can get white lightning in here too. And the one thing I don't care for is it's a tiered terraced site. I guess that's better than no terrace. But you can see some, somebody's left some, some two buys. They probably come out here on a frequent basis. So you gotta be careful coming out the door. That's kind of southwest over that way, so the sun will be hitting the patio if there was some sun. It's been been raining pretty much the whole whole drive here. We do have a break in the weather, so I'm gonna deploy Sable and we're gonna go see the stuff. We're gonna go see some Dana Peak Park stuff on Stillhouse Hollow Lake. I really like this campsite. Now the lake is Stillhouse Hollow Lake. It's, it's like all the, the Texas Hill Country lakes. It's due to drought conditions, it's extremely low. I think this one's at about 20, 27%. But that should all be changing. Thanks to El Nino, but we can walk down here. You, you gotta be careful. There's rattlesnakes in this part of the country. So watch your step. That should be the water line right there. This would be a great place to camp and fish. Still is, you just gotta, gotta be careful. The rocks are sharp. Wear better shoes than what I have on. At least, <laughs> at least we can get to the water here. Unlike the last several parks we've been to where uh, you didn't have access to the water in, in a lot of those places. There we go. Now we can see the water. I like it. Oh, I have four bars 5G on Verizon. Uh, honestly, I can't remember when, when was the last time I had a campsite where I even had 5G. Even at McKinney Falls in the middle of Austin, 
I only had 4G. Uh oh, somebody's car got away from them. That's the surf rescue. Let's go see some stuff. I'd like to thank Brooklyn Bedding for sponsoring today's video. Do you need a mattress for your RV, for your home? Are you still sleeping on that thin inner spraying mattress that came with your RV? Are you waking up with a stiff back or a sore neck? I know I sure did. If you want to get, wake up refreshed and rejuvenated, you might want to think about upgrading. Brooklyn Bedding has a mattress just for your situation. Best of all, their factory is right over in Arizona. They offer you a 120 night sleep guarantee, meaning you get the mattress, you sleep on it for 120 nights. When you decide that it's your mattress, they're gonna give you a 10 year warranty on that mattress. That way you can really sleep in comfort. Think about that for a moment. You get to sleep on that mattress for 120 nights. If you're not happy, you get your money back. When you decide to keep it, they give you a 10 year warranty. That's winner winner. I know when we bought Trudy Thunder, the mattress that we had on that bed was, uh, it was one of them thin inner spraying mattresses and I always woke up with a, a sore back and a stiff neck and couldn't wait to get home to sleep on the number bed. Now, I don't, I don't have that issue anymore. <laughs> I, I find it hard to get up in the morning when we're in the RV. I know I love mine. I sleep better in the RV than I do at home. 120 night trial, 10 year warranty, factory in Arizona. How can you go wrong? Thank you, Brooklyn Bedding. If you want to find your mattress, go to rvmattress.com backslash DudeRV. Remember to use the code DudeRV for the most savings you can get. Let's go back to the video. We got to do a shower check. There's no light. It's been renovated. We've got tile floors. Oh, not bad, not bad at all. And it's getting hot. No, no handicap, no wheelchair bench. Seems they're doing a pretty good job keeping it clean. All right, let's go see some stuff. Some Dana Peak Park stuff. If you're fortunate enough, because it looks like, so this is site number nine. Now it's, well, there's a campground host right there. There's no sign here saying campground host. So if you can get number nine, you'll have the big metal shed. But I don't know if it's actually available. You have to check on recreation.gov. I'm not sure what kind of flowers they are. But they're very yellow. The roads are pretty rough. You hear all the stuff rattling on the scooter. Bacon, somebody's cooking bacon. Mm. One of my favorite things when I'm when I'm out camping is the smell of bacon. Dana Peak Park is actually kind of on a peninsula. It's actually a bend in the Lampasas River bed. I'm, I'm looking for a site number. I don't see any site numbers. Ah, I think it's up there, up high. Okay, this is site number 17. <laughs> Super 
well mostly flat you got a place where your wheels will be low you know you got the wooden bench you've got the metal roof you've got the barbecue cooker you got a fire ring but best of all look at the view Well, that sounds like somebody's catching a got a catfish on the line. Anyway, I think all of, all of the campsites down here on the in on the peninsula. I like them. I like this campground. All right, let's let's go see what else we can get into. I had to put on the sunglasses to keep the bugs out of my eyes because we are right by the lake. So if you don't have an RV, you want to do some primitive camping. Dana Peak Park has got you covered. They've got, uh, well, there's four, I guess eight, eight primitive sites. And you can see the, the, the lake is just so low because all this should be underwater. The, that's the water edge right there. All right, let's, let's go see some more stuff. Some more Dana Peak Park stuff. Here. One there, one there, and there's a couple out there, but they're really hard to see. Hard for me to see them. See, there's what one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's two laying down back there in case you can't. You might not be able to see them. Dozen or so. Kind of makes me wonder if maybe somebody's feeding feeding the deer for there to be that many well if you have a group of folks and y'all are wanting to get together in a kind of central texas locale dana peak park has got a fantastic group pavilion lots of light so you can hang out till late in the evening swapping stories with lakeside view even though the lake is low, you still got a great view. Volleyball net and a great big old cooker. Make up a big old mess of, big old mess of hamburgers right there. Oh, they even got a horseshoe. Pitch and a fire, two fire pits. Doesn't look like anyone's been using it. All right. Let's go see some more stuff. They used pass, cost you $5 to just come hang out here. And it says if you leave and the park closes. Make sure you got your stuff with you. They have quite a, quite a few day use parking areas. All right, let's, let's go see what else we can find. They don't seem to like Sable. If you're going to be coming to Dana Peak Park and you're going to have some kiddos with you, they're probably going to want to do some swimming. Well, there is there is a swimming area, but there's some barricades across the entrance up there, so it seems to be closed, primarily because the water is beyond the outer marker buoy. No swimming today. Are you in the mood for a picnic? Then Dana Peak Park has got you covered. Check out this day use area. What a fantastic lake view. Now if the lake was up to pool, that line of green over there would be gone. Somebody's having lots of fun. Let's go see if we can find a boat ramp. My boat ramp fans are gonna be so excited. They're gonna be so happy. We've got a four-lane boat ramp. Boy, that's a long one. But it ends in water. You can actually launch your boat. Don't expect to use the courtesy dock. 
not, not for getting on your boat anyway. According to Wikipedia, Still House Hollow Lake is, uh, ooh, that's soft, 104 feet deep at some point. Some place on this lake, it, when it's full, it's 104 feet deep. Not today. It's a cool skyline though with the clouds back there. Be a great time lapse, but anyway. All right, moving right along. Let's go see what else we can find at Dana Peak Park. Well, it, it would seem that Dana Peak Park has got quite a few trails to hike and bike and explore. Do not ride muddy trails. So I guess we're not gonna be taking the Valkyrie out. This is, this is the entrance to Dana Peak hiking stuff. They even have a bicycle service station in case you need to work on your bike. No off-road vehicles. No worries. All right, let, let's go see what else we can find. There's a sign up there that said fishing pier with an arrow pointing this way. And then there was a little bitty gate. It was uh, kind of too small for, almost, uh, almost too small for Sable. And now we get down to a three-way fork in the road. So I don't know where to go. But it looks like this was maybe a sidewalk at one point. With, with the lake being so low, I, I, I doubt seriously that there's a fishing pier in the water. I think I see it. As I mentioned before, be very mindful of where you're stepping when you're out here. This is rattlesnake country. I hear running water. <laughs> Here's the fishing dock. Watch your step. Well, that's just downright pretty. Yes, it is. A babbling brook. Nobody's gonna be catching fish off of this thing. Although they are gonna come down here and throw their trash in. The lake. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully the, the weather patterns have changed and stay that way so that once again this will be afloat. I've heard ever since I was a, a young child, I've heard people talking about fishing in Stillhouse Hollow Lake and how great a lake it was for fishing. Right, let me go back up here and find Sable and we shall continue on. When you when love, your love gets gone, when your love it gets will break gone. the fear. When your love gets wild, it will bring it will bring you near. You and when your soul, when your soul gets, gets humble, pride loses you. Days of trouble, they 
sitting out here and enjoying the peaceful serenity. Drinking some water, watching YouTube. I looked up. I must be looking for. For what I can see, it's about five feet long. It's a, it's a, it's a big snake. <laughs> I was like, holy cow, where'd that come from? <clears throat> but if you look, something is nesting in there. I kind of think it, it may be rats or mice are nesting up there and the snake has found a a uh, grocery store so according to the seek app and if you don't have the seek app on your phone you really ought to get it that's a really cool app you just point your camera at and it'll tell you what you're looking at so this is a north american rat snake it's a big north american rat snake totally harmless but it, it it sure freaked out the park host when he, he saw it. Because <laughs> I didn't tell him what I needed his attention for. He was driving by, and I, I called him over and said, Hey! I brought up the, the fire ant thing, because they should be taking care of that. And I said, Oh, yeah, and then there's that. And I and I pointed, <laughs> pointed up there, and he, he about jumped out of his skin. <laughs> Apparently, he's got a He's got a snake phobia. <laughs> I didn't know that. But he called the park rangers and somebody's going to come and, and relocate. <sighs> relocate my friend. Take him to a new hole. He's got a, he's got the market corner though. All he's, all the snake has got to do is go around to all these pavilions and supper is right there. And it, that one may even just live up there and wait on the, the stupid birds to make a nest. Some kid's gonna find him. And then you should have I think he's about to. Yeah, I got a little stimulation going on this side, so. He's going up. Oh, heads up. Here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. There we go. Oh, that's a beautiful one. Look at that beautiful color. Yeah, not quite seven feet. He's probably what five and a half. He's not a not a small snake, but he can tell. Come on. You'd be lucky if you can catch up to that one. Slipping through, really. Good. Oh, oh. Beautiful color, Phil. <laughs> this is what it's all about right here look at this beautiful oh, the sunset has just been glorious words are not enough this must be experienced in person. Steelhouse Hollow Lake, right, like right there, look at that. Oh, that is so awesome. Good morning from Dana Peak Park. Man, I like this campground. I like it a lot. Even, even though I, I, I did find a great big constricting snake, 
I don't have an issue with snakes. I thought it was really cool. The campground host, on the other hand, he didn't like it so much. There's a couple things you need to know about Dana Peak as far as operations. They have different contracts for pest control, grounds maintenance, and restrooms. So the people doing the restrooms, they seem to be, that, that contractor seems to be doing a great job. Grounds keeping, yeah, it's okay. It could stand a, a mow, but I, I'm not gonna complain because I'm not playing in the grass too much. Pest control, make sure you bring your own. I have failed to replenish my traveling supply of triazocide, and yesterday uh, those fire ants ate my feet up. Fortunately, the park host had a container of triazocide to kill that off. So at least I can get, so at least now I can get packed up without getting eaten up by the fire ants. Yesterday, as I was sitting here watching Mr. Snakey, uh, there's a nonstop fish jump in the water. Bring a fishing pole. Uh, the snake, that was a really neat experience. Uh, Y'all might not have thought it would be that neat, but it was pretty cool watching the, hanging out with the snake. He was relocated to us, he or she, it was relocated to a more remote part of Dana Peak and will continue to live and eat rats. That was a North American rat snake. It's a it's a constrictor, but it he probably didn't have to do a whole lot of constricting in the box up there. Uh, the the campground host apparently had a traumatic snake incident as a child, and that really really creep freaked him out. Four or three bars, two and three bars of 5G service. So if you need to work remote, Dana Peak has got you covered. There's there's no road noise. You cannot hear any road noise. Boat noise? Yep, you're gonna have that on any boat. There, there wasn't a whole lot of small watercraft and, and skiers, but Granted, it was you know Sunday afternoon, Mother's Day, and it had been raining. So there's probably more boat noise when the the weather's pretty. I love this campground. I really like this campground. It's the, just that sunset last night was awe inspiring. Slept like a baby and woke up to deer. Well, it was super foggy, but the deer were hanging out in the campsite next door. When I walked around the RV, they they, they took off. But yeah, let's let's walk around here and look at this cloud. Y'all gotta see this. It's really cool. So there's Dana Peak. I like that. There's, the deer have moved away from Dude RV. All right, I'm done here. I gotta pack up and head east. Gotta go do some stuff at Tranquility Base. Give y'all one last look at this beautiful lake. <laughs> if you're still with me at this point, thank you so much. I am most honored. If you enjoyed this video, please, Click on that thumbs up and blast me out across your social media. That helps so much. And if you've not already, 
I would be truly honored if you would consider clicking on that subscribe button. That helps way more than you know. And for those of you who have been following along, thank you. I, I cannot express. That's why, that's why I'm here. Thank you for that opportunity. That's why I get to see that. Look at that, it's just so cool. And for my patrons, I am, I, I cannot express my gratitude deep enough. You guys rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?